Well, hippies and college students tuned into this long ago, but today scientists confirmed magic mushrooms do produce mystical experiences, sometimes life-altering ones. Now researchers at an American university are wondering if the mushrooms can alter something else, how we treat illness. Cass Rusi reports. It was the ultimate psychedelic high, Woodstock, when making love and not war was the motto. And a little help from hallucinogens like magic mushrooms didn't hurt either. Now researchers at Johns Hopkins University have taken this into the lab and are wondering about the possible medical benefits of magic mushrooms. In a new study, they say research subjects who were given this drug described their experience as mystical, profound, the single most spiritually significant event of their lifetime, something mystics and hippies have told us for years. You know, when my eldest daughter was born, that was profoundly meaningful to me. And uh, when my father recently passed away, that moved me very deeply. You know, the experience was sort of like that, they would say. Volunteers took the drug in this room while listening to classical music. Out of the 36 volunteers, almost one-third did report that they felt anxious, depressed, even frightened after taking the drug. But for most people, researchers say magic mushrooms, or the compound in the mushroom, may actually have therapeutic value, that with further study, the drug may help terminally ill patients. In terms of therapeutic uses, some of the things that have been suggested is terminal cancer patients, um, or people with intractable pain, sort of, it would be for a small population, a very distinct population of people. Critics of this study warn that the manufactured spiritual experience from magic mushrooms should not be confused with the real thing. All this did was stimulate that part of the human personality uh, that produced certain feeling states and altered states of consciousness. And those are no criteria for an authentic encounter with God. The researchers did in fact choose subjects who were already religious, believing that they'd be less troubled by mystic side effects. But researchers don't know yet what would happen if the subjects had no spiritual beliefs at all. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto. An important part of London's psychedelic music scene is gone. Sid Barrett has died. And even if you don't know who he is, you probably know the small rock band he helped create. Pink Floyd. Barrett wrote many of the band's early songs, including Arnold Lane, the song you're listening to right now. He used drugs and suffered from mental illness and left before the band hit it big. The Pink Floyd album, Wish You Were Here, was actually a tribute to him. The cause of death was not disclosed. Barrett was 60.